Right, welcome to our new video. If you if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We've got plenty of videos, all kinds of bricklaying videos, fencing, concreting, digging, extensions, plenty to watch. And uh, make sure you hit the like button if you like the video. Press the dislike button if you dislike the video. But, um, if you do subscribe, make sure you press the bell button and the press the all so you get notified every time we, we uh, upload a video. Um, today's video is a fencing job, fencing repair job, just uh, swapping out a two foot concrete post and a six foot concrete post for a timber post. But you'll see more about that in the video. Uh, you might have noticed our merch, some of our t shirts. No Rodin wore one of these in his video for us. Um, we have cups. Uh, they do face masks but they are very expensive and not very good so don't bother with the face masks and we have stickers but there's also hoodies, zip up hoodies sweatshirts I think and available in different colours too but with the same logo, same design yeah it's uh, 20th of January been very quiet it froze for 15 days and it, it's been raining pretty much ever since um, there's one of our little projects we did. Bit of brick lane, Lego style. The Lampers of Harry Potter. Hope you get me picture taken by that soon in Florida. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, follow us on Instagram. But that's us, Steve and Alex Brick Lane. That runs alongside the YouTube channel. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's enjoy the video. That's the little one done, which didn't put up as much of a fight as I thought. Bunch of concrete come out of it though. And we managed to keep that all that intact. So look at that just for one little post. So next is this one, the big fella. This one's gonna be more awkward as I'm not sure we can take this out or not. I think we might yeah we might be able to, might we? Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Once this is out, it might be a bit easier. We've got um, the stuff under the flag, haven't we? Like the hardcore stuff, we can mm. put that back behind. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so obviously, we take, take the flag out of here, and that gives us room to work there where the flag is. You need cutting anyway, as well. What? These flags, the, these panels. Oh, yeah, to my up to that, yeah. Yeah. He's going to have to put a bit of bat on each side just to hold it. Like each side, like that. Right, let's come with this one. The 
A, the less likely you are to suffer um, badly, and you're more likely to have it asymptomatic. And if you're, a, if you're not caught. shedding a lot of virus, you're not going to be spreading it a lot. So it's, it that way, it's reasonable, but I wouldn't be absolutely just definitive that about it. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. sync with that thought. He says, look, it's not compulsory to mix at Christmas. People shouldn't blame the government if I infection know. rates rise and we go back into lockdown. We're adults. Make your own decisions, everyone. On BBC One and iPlayer. I come here for one reason. To go in like continues Sunday night at ten past eight on BBC One and iPlayer. It's so amazing that I'm, I'm just on, still on series one, but watching it at the moment and the production and the air of mystery is incredible. That reached its result on Channel 4 last night. If you don't know the results and you go watch it later, you might want to turn your radio down for a second, but, you know, not for long. It's time to find out who was one, and the judges have said it was the closest final they've ever had, and the hardest decision they've ever had to make. Okay. The winner of the great British Bake Off 2020 is... But you know, on that scale. Yard says I've been baking lots in lockdown. I absolutely love it. I learned to bake bread and I've been sewing for the NHS as well. Thank you, Julie. We're talking later on, speaking of COVID, about the scientists who don't go along with the government scientists, what they're saying. They're anti-lockdown, they're much more about herd immunity. We're going to talk to a very good example of those scientists after the news. And, and also the spending review is going on today, which is sort of a mini-budget from the Chancellor. And we'll find out how much money he's Manor got. from Devon Cookery School setting us weekly challenges. That sounds good. Manor from Devon. <laughs> then we move on to sourdough, cinnamon buns and pita bread. Just so far ahead of me, it's unbelievable. Sarah Smith is in Wakefield. My son, who's 10 years old, is never interested in baking. But since lockdown, he has been amazing. He bakes all the time now. He's doing our Christmas. <laughs> Yeah. Megan, don't 
Duchess of Sussex has revealed she suffered a miscarriage at her home in Los Angeles earlier this year. Writing in the New York Times, she describes an almost unbearable grief following... <laughs> Absolutely anyone, yeah. one in every um, pregnancy.